G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dylan Knight and today I'm just going to take you through a few different techniques of star reduction. Okay, so the first one, just make a, a copy of this, control J. Try again. Control J to make a copy and then we can go to our selection and color range and now we can go through and pick each star or as many stars as you want because this is based on on color um, and all the stars here are different colors, so we can go through and you can pick as many stars as you want. This is entirely up to you. Let's go through, click all the different pixels until you think you've got a good enough selection and then you can change it on the fuzziness here too. So going to go with about that. Just press OK and then there's our selection and we can create a layer mask and if you hold ALT and click on that that's the layer mask there um, and now if you go up to filter other and minimum this will reduce the size of the stars and they won't be so distracting so I've just got this set to 1 and roundness because stars should be round and just click OK. And there you go, you can see there's a bit of a difference. All these stars have gone. So this way, it would take you probably forever to do it, but if you want, if you want to target just certain areas and certain colors, that's good. Um, but there's a better way of, of doing it. So I'm just going to delete that and make another copy of that. Um, you can do go into your channels and go through which one you reckon is better. That's highlighting, highlighting the, the whites and the highlights in the image. So if you press control and just click on that uh, red channel you'll get the marching ants and you can create a layer mask by doing that and if we alt click there's our layer mask and if you press control L brings up your levels and you can change the layer mask to however you want so let's go with that and then if you press Control, Alt, and F, that will redo the last filter that you used, which was minimum. And there you go, you can see a slight difference. Um, you've just gotta be careful with doing this because if you do it too much, you'll ruin the image. So that's another way. And then make another copy and we can go to select color range and now you can select um, any of these three but the stars are white um, usually they're the brightest part of the image so you can muck around with these sliders again and see what you want to do and then create another layer mask and we can just check to see what's going to be selected and then we can reapply the minimum filter and then again it's only subtle but you can do it a few times um, and yeah get your desired effect so this is good if you want to get rid of all these distractions and just concentrate on your main subject, which is the Milky Way. 
So that's all I've got for today. If you liked this and it helped you, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,